Hello, welcome to another Creature tutorial. This tutorial is going to cover all the meshing questions and inquiries you have ever wanted to ask. This is a tutorial entirely focused on the meshing functionality of Creature. All right, so let's start. Okay, so what is meshing? Now, in case you haven't noticed, everything in Creature is based off a mesh, right? So you get mesh deformation by default in Creature. Everything deforms nicely with bone weighting and you can do really amazing stuff with the different procedure motor system of, of Creature. So let's start off with talking about the basic thing about Creature which is the remesh texture button. Now when you import a texture into Creature it automatically gets laid out on a uniform mesh. Okay what's a uniform mesh? It's basically a mesh that is spaced evenly x by y. It's like a uniform grid resolution. And on top of that mesh, uh, sorry, on top of that grid, we actually just tessellate, tessellate or create triangles for the different regions in Creature. Okay? And your first question you're going to ask is, why are we using a regular grid? Why are we using a regular, you know, regular, regular mesh? Is there any, what's a good real, real reason for it? Is it because it's easy? Well, actually, no. The reason why we're using a regular mesh is because it's actually very, very stable for the different kinds of sophisticated simulations, dynamic effects, and deformations Creature performs. So this regular mesh actually results in very nice curves and shapes when it goes through the extreme deformations you push Creature through for your character. Okay, so let's start with the first button, Remesh Texture. So this basically remeshes the entire grid, the entire, all the regions are completely remeshed when you click Remesh Texture, and it allows you to define the overall grid resolution, okay? So for example, right here, I have the grid resolution set to 50 by 50, okay? So it's 50 by 50, and you notice that it gives you the resolution of something like this, right? Now, it obviously isn't good enough to separate out these two regions and these two regions over here and that's when you might need a higher resolution but there's other ways to solve it but before we continue let's try a different grid, grid resolution let's say we try a lower resolution like 20 by 20 what do we get let's see okay so now look the meshes are sparser coarser as you say but this entire chunk is now connected together right there's not enough resolution for creature to remesh and se separate out the regions so that's an issue when you have a sparser mesh. Now of course you're going to say again, well, but in my game I sort of want sparser or coarser triangles. I don't want that many triangles. Is there a way to also do it for various regions? Yes, there is. And we'll get to that in a moment. But let's again, let's go back to talk about the remesh texture functionality. So as, as we've seen, 20 by 20 is too coarse to separate out these regions. So we typically have to increase the resolution. So let's go back to 50 by 50 and see what we get again. Okay, we're back to the original. And as you see it, Creature is able to separate out these guys, but not this entire chunk. Okay, so what's the next thing you can do? The next thing you can do is use the boundary remesh functionality. What does it do? Well, click on that, okay, and now it says click and drag out remesh boundary triangles. What it allows you to do is to basically define regions of separation. Okay, so if you define this as a region of separation, and this as a region of separation, and maybe this as a, as a region of separation. So look at the highlighted areas over here. These are the regions, that, the, the, basically the, the, the triangles that's going to separate out this region from that triangle, uh, from that region, sorry. Okay? And this highlighted region over here is going to separate out this region from this region. All right? So as long as you have enough resolution, you can do a separated boundary. And when, now when you click Remesh, you notice all of these regions are nicely separated out. Okay? So that's what the boundary remesh tool is for. It's for allow you to basically define regions of separation to help creature basically cut out additional regions that should be independent of each other, not joined to the adjacent regions. Okay. Okay. So that is those are the top level tools: remesh texture and boundary remesh. <clears throat> now let's talk about the other tools on the right over here. Okay. So let's let's take a look at one one mesh. For example, let's take a look at the leg. Okay. The first tool is the grow tool. Now, basically, this grows a boundary of triangles around this, this region. It allows you to expand it right, by layer. So if I put one in it, what will happen? Ah, it adds a padding, an extra layer of padding of triangles. It could be useful if you're doing different kinds of deformations and need more space. 
Okay. The other one you, you can use is subdivide. This will basically increase or make the, the mesh denser. Okay. You rarely have to use this, but if you do want to decimate your mesh and make it denser, this is what you do. So click on subdivide, and there you go. This is a much denser mesh, right, compared to this. Whoa. Okay. So the next other tool you can use is Sculpt. Sculpt basically allows you to go in, click on this, go in and add or remove triangles. Okay. So there's also a radius associated with it. So you can basically define how many triangles you want to add based on that radius. And if, if right now I'm add mode, so if I just hold on my mouse, you can see I'm adding triangles. I can also click on remove, and that will remove triangles from the region I'm, I'm holding it on my mouse on and clicking on. Okay? So Sculpt is very useful when you want to fine tune the mesh and just sort of remove redundant triangles that shouldn't belong to that region. Okay? So that's Sculpt. And now finally, this is probably what you've been asking for, how do I reduce the resolution of this region? Well, that's what region remesh is for. Remember we talked about remesh texture just now. Remesh texture remeshes all regions. The entire, the entire grid is remeshed again to create these different mesh regions. But what if you just wanted to remesh a specific region? If you wanted to increase or decrease the resolution of a specific region, you use region remesh. So let's give it a go. Click on region remesh. And now we can define our own grid resolution for that specific mesh over here. So let's try 10 by 10 and see what we get. Oh, there you go. Look, it's a lot coarser now. And I can also maybe say decrease the decrease the X resolution if I want to. So 5 by 10. It's even coarser now. So you can see I, I can play around with these parameters to get different results. And this essentially allows you to fine-tune the resolution of specific regions. So you can basically remesh at a very high resolution, at a high grid resolution, get those regions all automatically separated out for your creature, and then go to each individual mesh, and then just use region remesh to fine-tune their resolutions. Okay? So that's basically it for meshing. Thanks for watching.